All right, people, welcome back. More car reviews. So we are continuing on with Cyber Dark Week. So we are looking at the two new Cyber Dark Monsters. So let's not waste any time and hop right into it. So the first car we're looking at is Cyber Dark Cannon. So it is a Dark Dragon Effect Monster, level 3 with 1600 attack and 800 defense. So, of course, the old Cyber Dark Monsters, their machine. This guy's a dragon, so you can go ahead and just equip this guy to the Cyber Dark Monsters because he's a dragon. And they would gain his attack and go up to a nice, respectable 2400. So, uh, that's nothing to scoff at. So, uh, just straight up, just being what he is right now, it's not terrible. Let's look at the effect. So, if this card is sent to the graveyard while equipped to a monster, you can draw one card. So, I go ahead and summon one of the old Cyber Dark, equip this guy. And if you get rid of this guy and equip, you know, I block myself from being destroyed by battle, unequip, and then get to draw a card. So, I'd say it's just a straight up plus. So that, that first effect is actually pretty good. You can only use uh, each of these following effects of Cyber Dark Cannon once per turn. So the first effect is you can discard this card, add one Cyber Dark Machine monster from your deck to your hand. That, that's perfect. That's literally perfect. So I have this guy in my hand. I throw him away, get a Cyber Dark Machine monster, summon that Cyber Dark Machine monster, and that Cyber Dark Machine monster will just go ahead and equip him right from the graveyard. There you go. Perfect. Like he is literally a one card combo with Cyber Dark. So that, that's awesome. That's awesome. And the second effect is if a monster, this card is equipped battles during damage calculation. You can send one monster from your deck to your graveyard. So he's pretty much a foolish burial. That's actually pretty good as well. Of course, you can go ahead and send a different cyber dark or just any cyber dark from the deck to the graveyard and get yourself set up for that nice overload fusion for your cyber darkness dragon or cyber dark dragon or whatever. So the, that second effect is good as well. And like I said, it's a foolish. It doesn't specify what monster you send. You can literally just send any monster from your deck to the graveyard as long as that monster equipped with this battle during damage calculation. So, you know, I could possibly see maybe a combination of a Cyber Dark Ubel deck. Because, I mean, I could just send any monster from a deck to the graveyard. Just battle, send Ubel to the graveyard, you know? So that's pretty good. So. Uh, for right now, Cyber Dark Kid, I'm gonna give you a thumbs up. You're you're good. You're good. That's that's one of the cards that the Cyber Dark uh, archetype definitely needed. All right, let's go ahead and look at the next card. So the next monster that they got is Cyber Dark Claw. So he is also a Dark Dragon Effect monster, level three with 1600 attack and 800 defense. So you know, once again, you go ahead and equip him, and they go up to a nice, respectable 2400. So uh, let's look at the effect. So if this card is sent. To the graveyard while equipped to a monster, you could target one cyber dark monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand. Um, this card is this effect is fine as well. Uh, I think I prefer the draw to see the next card than just grabbing the cyber dark back. But I guess kind of recycling your machines, you know, you summon the machine, equip this, and this guy goes, and then uh, you go ahead and get the cyber dark back, and you summon the cyber dark. So I guess it keeps the resources fueled, kind of uh, it's a little pseudo generation. So not not terrible, not terrible. You can only use each of the following effects of Cyber Dark Claw once per turn. So first effect is you can discard this card, add one Cyber Dark spell slash trap from your deck to your hand. So right now, that's not a lot of cards. Okay, that's Cyber Dark Impact, but you know, Cyber Dark Impact can't uh, summon Cyber Darkness Dragon, so that's uh, and oh I can search the field spell, you know? And the field spell is in my opinion not even good enough to even really warrant terror playing terraforming. So um, I mean, you should be playing this guy, you know, uh, just for the fact that he's just another good dragon to equip to your machines. Uh, so, pretty much running him, you don't need to run terraforming. Uh, the, the Inferno is not that great, but you can go ahead and just pitch this, get the Inferno, play the Inferno. Someone is out of dark, the side of dark, um, the machine one will equip this guy, and you have a 2400 Magic Spectre monster. Nice and respectable. It can't be destroyed by uh, card effects and can't be targeted. So, um, that's fine. It's just, you know, I. Give me a couple more Cyber Dark spells and traps, and maybe we can talk. But right now, you're not looking as good as Cyber Dark can. And then uh, the next effect is if a monster discard uh, equipped to battles during damage calculation, you can send one monster from your extra deck to the graveyard. So let me guess if you want to send your Cyber Dark or your Cyber Darkness, and of course, that does count as a main for your uh, Overload Fusion. So it definitely seems like these two are setting up for your uh, potential Overload Fusion, which is. Uh, which is fine, which is fine. Uh, definitely with this guy, uh, if you have room in your extra deck, which you should, which you should for your Cyber Dark deck, I would just throw in Elder Entity 
oops, 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 because you can just go ahead and just be like, all right, well, no quick monster battle during damage calculation, go ahead and send an oops, and then oops, we'll go ahead and pop a card on your, your opponent's side of the field. So uh, might as well throw her in, you know, she is coming out in the TCG soon. So yeah, this card works for that. But um, like I said, you're supposed to be sending your uh, cyber attack fusion monsters and then overload fusion in for that. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, Cyberdark Claw, you're you're fine as well. You're not as good as Kim, but like I said, uh, some support's better than no support. And that's pretty much it. So as of now, this is all the Cyberdark cards that we got. So hope, like I said, hopefully I get some more. I would, wouldn't mind some Cyberdark Traps or a couple more Cyberdark Spells to make Claw definitely worth it. But Cannon is great. Claw is fun. Definitely throw them in your Cyberdark as deck. And like I said, with uh, the combination of cards, they definitely seem like they have a decent synergy that uh, Konami knows what they're uh, doing when they uh, are adding uh, cards to this archetype. So, so good job, good job. I don't like saying good job to Konami, but that's fine job. So tell me what you guys think about Cyberdark Cannon and Cyberdark Claw in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. Of course, on Friday, like I said, this is Cyberdark Week on Friday, we're actually looking at a fake card uh, someone made for the Cyberdark archetype. So we can go ahead and kind of compare these, you know, fleshed out real cards that uh, Konami made compared to someone's uh, fake card and see uh, how they compare and contrast. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all support. I really do appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button, that bell for notifications. I will be back tomorrow with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! lit content on my birthday. Tomorrow's my birthday. All right. So uh, if you guys can go ahead and do me a favor and just, you know, support me because it's my birthday, right? Uh, and I will see you guys tomorrow. So once again, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.